All right, guys, I didn't quite dry it. I had an idea. I wanted to see about doing. Um, as I did with before, I love this the look with the gesso and a little bit of wet. You can get some really cool. Um, I, don't know, I like the looks of it. So, well, it's just just barely damp, guys. I almost had it dry. Take a little gesso with your oil, or this works with your oil pastels too, so you don't just have to use um, like a watercolor ground. Any of them will work. You get a little bit different with each one. So, and I just thought, oh, it's just not, something wasn't quite, wasn't right happy quite yet, so. I've got the smooshy background, it's kind of a, got to keep on a little bit of theme there, right? Alright, I'm going to change colors. Don't use the same hand or you're going to transport your colors into the other one. I'm going to do as much on her because I like her hair where kind of it's at. Right in there. Oh. I use my hand as a palette. There we go. Now pink. I'm running out of fingers, so let's put it a little bit over here. Change out fingers. When they're dirty, just move on over. <laughs> you kind of want to. These are almost dry, so I'm not getting as much movement with those. Which, if I really wanted to, I could just dampen it, put a little wetness on it. But I'm okay with this. I love using my hands in my eyes, guys. Put a little bit of you in each one of your pieces if you do. Because technically, you know there's some skin cells in there. <laughs> Morbidly gross, right? <laughs> Might not want to buy one for me. Beautiful. I love this. It's just coming along. Coming along. There we go. Oh, love it. Yum, yum, yum. I think I just lost my lid again. Uh-oh, there it is. I lose these all the time. Then you have to buy a whole new set just to get the lid. Hmm, I think maybe we're a little more blue. Hoping, working on this bigger journal, paper, pad, whatever you want to call it, um, will make me more comfortable doing like canvases if I ever want to really do one or not. So, there you go. Alrighty, now this is still wet, you can see. Um, Get a little bit of that off. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I don't know what else to do. As I'm sitting here and I'm looking, I'm going, hmm. So I have an idea. Um, I hope it works. We shall see. All right. Um.
only bad part about this is there's any room over here to put anything. So. Yeah. I'm going to get a really little bitty sort of maybe smaller brush we need to use. This one's really low. I did it again. There we go. So I don't want it to go too low. I'm going to kind of cover that. Okay. Now I'm going to try. I'm going to do her eyeliner area. Let's see if I can just get it to run. Ugh. Sorry guys, you're not getting this on there. I'm just trying to... Ooh, that looks good. I like that. That's pretty. All right, I'm going to let those two uh, maybe dry a little bit more before I do this one because I'm starting to turn and they're turning all the way and I want it, I want it like this. I want it to look like this. So we're going to do a little more on her. Again, let's get it going. I'm gonna actually use a water just in the brush this time to see if we can get it to be working. Why is that not coming down there? There we go. I will say these big, these this large baby is fun to work with, but she is. Um, can be, you know, hard to work with. <laughs> Fun, but they can be hard to work with. That's what I was trying to say, too. That get that going a little bit more. There we go. All right, I'm going to dry it and come back and we're going to do that one and maybe put some more on her. Probably put some more on her now, huh? I really don't want to move that. That's a problem with working like I am. Set it straight up if we can. Oh. I don't like how that one just does one lonely here. 
Do you? I don't either. All right. Okay, guys, um, if it's even louder, I do apologize for the fans going in the kitchen. Um, I wrote this off camera because I had to turn it this way, that way, this way, and before I could keep going, I wanted to put that there because I knew I wanted that. I'm just trying to fill it in. It says, it's in each of us just waiting to erupt in the depths of what makes us us. Um, so, yeah, now I'm going to fill in a little bit. Uh, making some more marks and making it more more of a piece I guess <laughs> fill it in a little bit and uh, go from there hmm -hmm. and it's like breaking these right and left today Hope that don't mean nothing. <laughs> Probably does, but I'm not lucky. So, Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm liking that. Yeah. Nice. All I'm doing is dipping the end of my dribble stick in water, guys. That's it. <laughs> Nothing besides that. down here. Why not? Oh, there we go. I like it. I do, I do. I like it. Swishy, wishy, wishy. Yeah. That works. That works a lot. Okay, let's put this over here. Maybe somewhere. Yep, yeah, some other side. Need to move it. Okay, what now, what now? Hmm. Alright, I'm going to dry those up. It's going to be a little time before 
Give me one more down here. Okay. And while I'm waiting, I got supper to make, so. Mm -hmm. We're going to come back in with some, uh, do some silhouettes of something. Mm, what? You'll have to wait and see. I'm just trying this to not look right to me. I don't know why, but it does. That'll work. Okay, well, that works. Okay, dokie. Look at that. This is basically a china marker like this, but they come like this because I've had some problems getting my to peel right, and um, I was out of white. I needed a new white, so I had to order, and I said, you know what, let's try these out, and I'm supposedly able to get the refills for these, so I haven't really checked that out yet. Um, I don't know if I like them yet, truth be told. Um, I just don't know if I do. Um, they are not by the same makers of those. Um, at least this brand isn't. I think you go through it quicker. Softer lead, I believe, on the on these, which you think it'd be harder think. Add in a little bit of white here. Just a smidge. There you go. Just highlighting where it was highlighted before. Of course, if you wanted to, you could add all kinds of stuff. Too much want. Oh, I think I'm almost done, guys. I mean, I'm like, I really like how it's ended up. I think, I really do. What I do need to do, though, is get, since it's black, yes, maybe some black edging. What I'm wanting. So, trying something different here. Letting the back tip of it and just going on here willy nilly. Okay. Wet my finger and kind of. There we go. Bring it out. Easy, easy, beautiful cover. Mm -hmm. oh. Having a day with Mr. Bentley, so it's uh. Gotta get him in and getting something to help control him out first. Because we're to the point of physically anymore. <laughs> it's physically almost, almost got me. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to do something. Just wet my finger and go on along it for it to pull down and look more smudgy. You know that? Yeah, there we go. And I'm gonna just come in there, go along it, like there. Along this. 
where I was kind of really had a problem moving on after the faces once I I mean I really did I didn't have any clue what to do and I was looking at it once again as a more of a not my art journal more of a canvas type of thing bigger pro I don't know I said wait I stopped myself what would I do if this was in my journal I'm like okay we'd start doodling playing there you go um treat it like the same if you're wanting to go with bigger art substrates treat it as the same whatever you did there you're just gonna make you got more of it <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I don't know what do you guys think is it done? It is really pretty. I'm going to think on it and let it dry. Um, for some reason, I still got a few spots that are still damp. When I run over it, I can feel the different texture, and I don't want it to pull it. So make sure it's dry. <laughs> Oh, all right, guys. One last thing I remembered all that I was going to do. Let's start up here first. I wanted to add this dragonfly here. Let it look cute. Fill a little space. And I love dragonflies, so. Why not, right? This is just black acrylic paint that I'm using. Um, right there. Or maybe that. I think I put way too much black on here. I probably should have used texture paste, but. Very pretty. I like that. And it just gives it a little something something. It does, in my opinion. Well, do I really want to put this in the wrong color yet? Here, I like it like right there, but what to do if how we should have it? We're gonna go like that. I like it like that.
There we go. I'm going to come kind of off of it. I like that. It makes it connect. Makes your page come up, come together when you have images and pieces of it going off. So it looks more like a snapshot than something made. Voila! I like it. I'm going to call it done, guys. I enjoyed this so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this another installment of my big girl journal. <laughs> I don't know what I'm calling her yet. So, happiness to you. Go make a mess. And, of course, art it out. Bye, guys!